Guess what? I have another message for you from the king. It's wonderful to see you again, my friend, but I really wish the king would find someone else to serve as a messenger. I have so many other talents that could greatly benefit Orsinium. I have no idea. Although I did hear something or other about a moot of some kind. In the throne room, up at the keep. Hopefully he won't be in too foul of a mood when you get there. friend and ally has returned. Let's talk. I heard what you did at the temple. Your efforts no doubt saved countless lives. It pains me to learn that Chief Basrog was involved, though. Basrog's never agreed with my plans. He's a traditionalist, stubborn and old-fashioned to the end. Basrog wants to start a war. Damn it all to oblivion, we'll have to stop him. He has the strength to overwhelm the lesser clans, and he's no suckling cub when it comes to fighting, either. If he were to make a challenge for my throne... It's time to assemble the Great Moot. I want you to visit the clan chiefs that still haven't come around to our way of thinking. Talk some sense into them. You made an impression already, but don't worry. I'm not expecting them to come just because you asked nicely. Now you get it. Help the chiefs, and they'll be obligated to accept your invitation. Tell them that you come to help in the name of King Kurog. That I'm hosting a gathering of clans, and I want the chiefs to attend. Do whatever it takes. The chiefs must attend the moot. I trust you won't fail me. When this is over, Rothgar will finally be forged into a united kingdom. More? What more is there to say?
Should have been at my husband's side. I should have been at my husband's side. He'd still be alive, and I'd still be his hunt wife. Well, look upon my husband and weep, for his next journey is to the Ashen Forge. Perhaps a new chief will deal with Kurog's latest nonsense. Many new faces at Chateau Range. Our only neighbors are surly giants. Dying. No amount of healing magic can fix smashed brains. We know which giants smashed the chief. I want to return the favor. I have a few words to say to Chief Ogzor's mother. I'll meet you where Urkale the Cleaver's tracks begin. Find Urkale the Cleaver. Is that a track? It's no, I, sorry, it's just a melted snow. Are we lost? It feels like we're lost. Um, you know, I'll just follow you. Should I be quiet? Don't want to disturb your tracking. I'll be quiet. Is that a track? It's... no, I, sorry. It's just a melted snow. Listen, we both know you're the one who avenged the chief. Happy I could land a few good smacks. That's up to the clan. 
I'm only doing it because Shatul needs a chief. Can't say I enjoy staking a claim while my friend is dying in that tent. Small clan. Our stronghold let Shatul camp there in the summers, in return for Choice's pick of a Chater. But Shruka refused to be traded like the Choice's pick of a Chater. She chose exile rather than marry me. A month later, raiders from the Reach wiped out my whole clan. Never. Chief Ogzor knew I'd consider that a dishonor after what he'd done for me. And shut Chief Ogzor's mother, Shatul's wise woman, though she hates it when we call her that. It falls to her to select the candidates for chief, and she... You avenged my son. I will not forget what you did for Shatul today. If Shatul is to survive, there must be a new chief. Larig is one contender. The other is Olgesh. I want you to meet him. Olgesh returned from Orsinium shortly after my son's injury. He declared himself a contender, but I'm not sure why. Shatul needs a chief who looks out for the clan before himself. I sent him after Scamper, our laziest at Chatir. Olgesh can explain the task. He's never been talkative, but see what you can learn as you aid each other. This will go faster. Yazara asked for a snow truffle. This lazy beast can sniff it out. But it's no clue. A potion, maybe? Scamper will sniff the patch. If there's a snow truffle, he'll dig it up. Scamper is fast asleep. Give him a good kick to wake him. Near boulders are trees. Lots of them between here and Shatul. I lived in Orsinium for years. Sometimes I forget Shantul is home. <sighs> Keep trying, Scamper.
some sleep. Let's get back to Shatu. Get that snow truffle to Yazara. And thanks. I won't forget. I think he found one. Did you find Olgesh? Good. Give it here. Olgesh passed my test. Scamper has always required two people to wrangle. Larig and Olgesh are the only clear contenders for chief. They must enter the Bloody Knoll and duel beneath the stern gaze of Malakath. I have not forgotten what you did for us. On behalf of Shatul, I name you Bloodkin. You shall always have a place among us. Olgesh should be at his tent. And thank you for the snow truffle, Bloodkin. Sometimes it was my son's favorite food. His hearthwife. She has dozens of recipes. He loved them all. He won't be able to taste it. His mind, you see, there's nothing left of him. The poison I shall feed the husk that remains of his body. No, it is me, murdering my own son. Shatul must survive. Before a new chief is chosen, the old chief must die. By the time Lorig and Olgesh reach the Bloody Knoll, the poison will finish its work. Mal I doubt that. An orc of Shatul would truly understand. You are neither. Yet you are... Over here. We need to talk. Hmm. You looked different from inside Olgesh's helmet. I... what? What did you know? Yes, that's... you're right. How did you know it was me? <laughs> I see. You seem to know much about me, Snowtruffle. A merchant friend keeps me informed of Shatul. When she brought word of my father's injuries, I had to return and contend for chief. As an exile, I'm not allowed to enter Shatul. But Ulgesh is no exile. I traded him a new set of armor for his old. Then re the real Ulgesh has a squeak in his voice. One day, he paid Morgul's forge wife to make him sound like an ogre. He always wore the helmet everywhere he went. Have you been to Orsinium? The king hammers away at traditions which keep orcs locked in squalid strongholds. He tempers us, forges us into something new, something better. Some won't. They may challenge me, and I'll have to kill them. But when any other clan clucks about the code of Malakath, Shatul will band together as we always do. We'll triple the- I think we'll get rich off the Malakath zealots. That will make the king happy. Lorig is a fine warrior, better than my father. But that's the problem. He never challenged my father. I... I haven't thought about that in years. He was always Uncle Lorig to me. Taught me how to play chop. Always called me little one, even when I was nearly his height. Lorig's heart was never in the match. But refusing would have led to a feud. Now I head to the Bloody Knoll. There I will kill Lorig and become chief of Shatul. For this to work, my grandmother must know my intentions. In... Gladly. Tell her the truth. I don't care if she approves. My son. Chief Ogzor is dead. Larig waits at the Bloody Knoll. What? Ushruka was exiled from Shatul. I would never allow her to contend for chief. She... that foolish girl. We're a traditional clan. Shatul will never accept an exiled woman as chief. Had she become Larig's hunt wife as my son wanted, Shatul would have stayed for the wedding. We would have been there when the Reach attacked Larg's clan. Her selfishness led to their destruction. A chief who lost his entire clan to raiders from the Reach? 
He refused to challenge my son, to give him an honorable death under Malakath's gaze, because of friendship. Take this ritual blade. It is flawed at its core, just like Lorig and Ushruka. Replace the blade of the weakest contender. Fair. I just watched my son die. None of this is fair. The flawed blade is a test. When the blade fails, the weakest contender will most assuredly die. If they... If she... Go, there is little time. Ruka, you have to go. If Olgesh sees you, he'll kill you. Olgesh is in Orsinium. He sold me his armor before I came to Shatul. No. What have you done? Shatul must survive. Don't hold back, Lorig. Malakath favor the victor. Goodbye, Uncle Lorg. You've returned. Who is the new chief of Shatul? I see. I convinced our clan that Ashruka's victory would test our faith in Malakath's favor. They'll accept her. For now. If she allows it, I shall advise her. You alone emerge from the bloody knoll. Did you pray to Malakath for your victory? I needed no prayers, only my strength. Then go forth, my chief, and receive your clan. Shatul, I present your new chief. Know this, my clan. A new era begins today. The era of the Orc. At King Kurog's side, we shall lead Tamriel to greatness. I know the cheers won't last. I'll need to guard against challengers from all sides to be twice the chief my father was. Of course you do. I don't know if I can attend the moot myself. I should stay here until the clan gets used to the idea of me as chief.
This is not justice. One of those outsiders that Kurog brought to our land. Sorry, but I have problems of my own right now. As long as my Forge wife is miserable, I can't deal with anything else. I wonder, does... If you're brave enough, talk to Lazgal and do whatever she asks. insisted on a mortal daughter for his forge wife. But then he decided to pass over my eldest. Now Ashika wants to prove him a fool for marrying her little sister. Malaketh alone knows why Ashika ran off. Wounded pride sent her to mortal descent, no doubt. Idiot! The girl will end up as Ogre Dun or a spider hatchery. Running off to mortal descent is why Ashika's still unwed! Finding glory in old... Thank <laughs> you. 